Alright guys, what is up? We are back and we are going to get game number two going again. We have to do a little bit of a, little, a few te technical difficulties. No big deal. Not too worried about it. We could definitely work around it. Don't worry. Most important thing is now we are off and are able to continue. Um, because of the overlapping dead time and absolute uh, awful blizzard issues, we kind of have to do a lot of other stuff like... Um, that works. Control R work? Control R doesn't work, man. That, that's rough. I think that's hockey to a different thing then. But either way, we are back. Game 2. Connections are working. Blizzard Master downloaded. We should be fine. Chaos Control is awesome around here. Starting off in the bottom left for Team Yusafa is Zoki the Zerg. And at the top right for UCCS, we have the Terran player BDSRG, or as I know him, my friend Ronnie. Um, he will be the purple Terran player. Understand, guys, these are the B teamers right here. This is Wednesday. This is the Colorado in state scrim B teamers day. So, all across, all B teamers are playing for all universities in Colorado, unless you're CSU, in which you forgot to show up. Uh, right now, UC Boulder is playing. Uh, well, UCB, aka Boulder University, is playing Colorado School of Mines right now. So, should be good deal. Should be finished hopefully around the same time. At the moment, UCS is up 1-0. We do see right now this is on GSL Daybreak. Uh, two Xelnaga Towers. I'm not exactly 100% familiar with Brood War, but I've heard references to the Brood War map. Uh, for starting off for Zoki, he's going to get the drone in there. He's going to be able to kind of see what's going on. Very standard early play right now. On the other side, SCB is going to be getting in there soon too. Interesting choice right now. Uh, there is no. Oh, there it is. I was about to say like a lot of minerals, no gas, and there's no macro, uh, no hatch in the natural. But there it is finally. Uh, it should be interesting to see kind of how Ronnie scouts. So I do like he's kind of walking around, has that good little patrol going. Um, on the other side, just, you know, Zoki's just enjoying the view over here. It's actually pretty nice. It has some meteors over here. It's got this little, like, I guess, thrust, booster, whatever. You know, you get to see this, like, big Saturn-like planet. N nice nice place to watch, you know? Good view. Nice to take your uh, w woman, woman drone out. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, back to the game, we do see right now Ronnie is getting his orbital up. Mr. BDSRG getting that first marine out to kill off that drone that's eventually here. I wonder if he is going to do the extractor trick. Overlord is going to float over here. Um, with this map, it's, kind of, uh, it's actually not 100% nice, but you are able to kind of poke in and see if there is a couple of gases or not. Over here uh, on the other side for Zoki, spawning pool is finishing up. Natural hatch is about done too. Uh, this is a ZBT, should be interesting in the transition. I do wonder um, if Ronnie's kind of been paying attention or, or at least knows the general uh, concept. We haven't practiced with him too much. He's one of our hatchling players, one of our younger guys, and um, kind of a last minute sub because we had one of our B teamers eject. So I do like this. He's starting off putting that reactor on the barracks, and it also nice because it blocks off the ramp, especially if you are unsure what kind of pressure is coming at you. You don't want to lift up and completely miss and then have just link stream right into your base. So it looks like Ronnie's going for the Hellion style opener from now what I see on the other side for Zoki. Still unsure what he's going right now. I don't see gases anywhere. Still don't see one gas down, so maybe some really big ling Ling, really ling heavy pressure. Zero gas going on. That or he's just droning up really hard. Oh, there he goes. Do you see a couple spine crawlers getting thrown down on the front? Going to be a really nice defensive, uh, def defensively for him. Meanwhile, we do see good transition right now by BDSRG getting that factory down. Hellions are about to pop up on the other side. There it is. We see the extractors going down for Mr. Zoki, so who knows, um, a little bit too early to tell exactly what he's going to play for, maybe Banelings, maybe Roaches, most likely actually Banelings if he just gets a bunch of Lings out, um, but other than that, he's actually just fairly safe right now at the moment with just a couple Spine Crawlers, and it's just good, he, it's actually interesting precautionary, I like this by Zoki a lot, he's got his Queen right here stationed up, it doesn't completely block off the Hellions from getting in the base, but it does enough to kind of redirect them, slash kind of bump them out of the way, we do see Ronnie getting a little bit of rest, kind of going around the map. Unfortunately, that Zelnaga just saw everything that was going on. 
Um, being really smart, I like the fact he's getting has that command center up and ready. Oh, a uh, bit of an early eBay. Interesting decision with that. Very, very interesting decision. Um, no big deal, though. No harm, no foul. I do wonder, there is no uh, tech lab, so I wonder when the switch is going to come. Or maybe he's just going to go mass Hellion attack. This should be entertaining. And this is actually kind of funny. Uh, both players holding a Gazelle Naga Tower on opposite sides, so I guess they can see what's going on. And Oh, kind of bad micro by Ronnie there for a sec. Lost that poor little Hellion that ran in by itself. I'm not sure what exactly he's planning now at the moment. He's got one Hellion on the field. Don't know where the other ones went. Hmm. Either way, a couple more extractors going down. Zero production right now on the UCCS side. BDSRT is not doing too much. Um, at least he does have uh, uh, SCBs kind of transferred down to the natural base. Has a kind of little bit of extra energy. He could throw down a mule if he wanted to. Oh, so... It doesn't look to be in any hurry. I like this throwing down another barracks, throwing down another starport. So it should be interesting kind of what unit composition that goes. He actually switches up, puts the barracks on the reactor, and uh, starts building a tech lab on the factory. So we'll see a nice little transition to tank marine. Does have to get probably a couple units down here. Even though it is a couple links, they could pick off a couple of uh, CVs. Has to be really careful. And oh, is he going to go in there? All he has to do is just kind of poke in there. Oh, boy. No, he doesn't. Uh, for now, we do see three Hellions holding the Gazelle Naga Tower over here for UCCS. Uh, meanwhile, on the Yusafa side, just a couple of queens out. Nice, I like this. Yeah, actually, this is a really nice decision to have that extra queen out. Uh, most Zerg players, well, I mean, more, more to the amateur and lower tier side, you don't see uh, Zerg players with an extra creeping queen in the sense. I don't know if that's exactly what it's using for <laughs> side of a ramp block. No, no worries. Uh, we do see he's got the double Evo chamber up and getting that bailing nest up. I like that. Also, this is what I this is actually what I really like about Zerg if they're smart enough to use it. The double Evo chambers getting those double upgrades really important. Get that one one right now. Um, big battle for upgrades is really important on the other side. Ronnie's doing a uh, BDSRG is doing a great job for UCCS. Also getting his one attack, getting siege mode, getting those tanks out, SCVs. Um, interesting. Push. I still, I, it's still funny. He hasn't checked the Gazelle Naga Tower and sees everything coming. And if Ronnie's not prepared, he's actually going to get really outflanked by all these. Uh, he's going to get absolutely outflanked. He kind of stutter step moves. Oh, he tries to just kind of walk out of them and going to get absolutely cleaned up by all those imbalanced lings. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, tank flying does pop out. Siege mode should be soon done. I doubt. Uh, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe he will try to go. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so definitely Zoki kind of just pressed up there. Not really smart. Lost a few links for no reason, but he did get some good scouting information. Uh, meanwhile, I like the positioning by Zoki's link over here, preventing to see if any third is going, and also the aggressive uh, takeage of base, good macro style. Taking that third base definitely needs to, especially at the 11-minute mark, so it was a about proper time. Roach Warren is done. Spire is done. So we'll see some mutas probably on the field really soon. Whoa, actually 10 mutas out on the field. This is going to be huge. Uh, what I don't like to see on Ronnie's side, he's got an armory building and supply depots, but there is a uh, turret missing here. Uh, there are turrets back here. Probably not exactly the best positioning in the world. But no, no big deal. B teamers, yeah! Nice, I like this also. Great positioning by Zoki over this other link. Make sure other bases are not here. And here come the Mutas. And it looks like, uh, wow, so Zoki's looking to be really aggressive right now. He's got a lot of links in the front. 18 producing at the moment. Getting that Carapace, getting that Zerg melee attacks too. Getting the Centrifugal hook, so it should be interesting. And... Depending on the micro here, he could lose a couple of mutas, but this is quite a bit. There is 10 mutas here at the moment, and the positioning of that turret is not exactly in the best spot. Um, production is really open, and I don't know what exactly, <laughs> don't know exactly what uh, Zoki's doing. Kind of lost a couple of mutas here in the front. On the back side, there aren't uh, links just kind of hanging out in front of the base. No bane links for him. Interesting decision. Overall, now he's down to seven. I actually lost three mutas to those turrets. I would love to pull up the kill cam to see how many SCVs got killed, but apparently that's hockey to my alpha caster right here. Oh, a little bit of a lag. Spike, no big deal. Let's 
City Attacks 2 has gone up, uh, though Carapace 2 is not. Hmm, interesting decision at the moment. Do you see three more mutas are going to come out, and oh my god, no turret is built back here. Ronnie is actually completely defenseless unless he brings his marine, and he's actually just going to look at the confidence, look at the swagger. He's just going to completely ignore the fact that there's a <laughs> there are mutas back here just harassing and attacking everything. There we go. The confidence and the swagger of the one and only Ron Apart, man, wow. Doesn't care if his SCVs are getting killed. We're going to push through. Got a little bit of a funny push by uh, Zoki, too. Kind of just walked the links back and forth. Didn't really attack too much himself. Um, I like the medevac numbers for the fact that there's not a lot of Marines right now out on the field uh, for Mr. BDSRG. And what in the world is going on? Mutas are just kind of like flying in formation towards the back. Oh, that's because there's a bunch of mutas in the back. Oh, my God. I didn't even notice that. And I actually pulled down the... Score count right here. <laughs> Pull that down really hard. Uh, we look a bit of a push right now coming out from Yusafa, but on the other side, we kind of forgot that there's just a bunch of links hanging out here in the back. And, oh no, Banelings are right here in the front. They, if they hit the Marines, it's going to be in a lot of trouble. And actually, most of the Marines are going to be fine because the Thor soaked that up just well, but 28 more links are on the way. Hatchery number four is going up. Stim time is halfway done. Turret, I think, is finally coming up, and it will be done. Yes. And I'm just kind of ruffling at the movement, like the A move. It's not even a move. It's not. I mean, it's not even an A move. It's just a move. Um, poor Mutas are going to go down right now. Uh, kind of bad control, no offense. And we see if he sieges up really well. Uh, oh, it's nice because he's got that Thor around too, man. That's a Muta killer right there. Uh, tanks are siege up really well. He does need to kind of caterpillar them up, leapfrog them up just a little bit to get into that base. But at the same time, there are eight bailings forming. 36 links are on their way. Oh my God! There's a lot of links, and that is just absolutely going to rip every one, this part, like every part of this army apart. It's not even going to be close right now. Uh, meanwhile, BDSRG kind of sitting very content at the moment. Bailings just kind of see they see me rolling. And finally, uh, BDSRG is a little, get a, able to get a little bit of a consistency right now. And oh, here we go. We got a little bit of an engage. And great surround by Zoki right now. Thors go down. Tanks go down. All Marines go down. The poor medevacs are left by themselves wondering, hmm, what do we heal? And yeah, with the speed links, the Marines are just way too slow. Ho, 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 ho. Trying to run back, and they're just way too slow. Um. Definitely, I don't see how Ronnie does plan to get back from this right now. There's just so many links right now. Mute is out in the field, especially once the turrets get cleared. It's going to be really hard to defend everything. Last tank goes down and probably would expect a GG really soon. Uh, overall, this is pretty uh, Zerg heavy favored map, so, I mean, no surprises. And also, this kind of B, B team play, no big deal. As we see right now, Zoki's just kind of clearing up the natural and soon to be streaming into the main. I think he's going to try to get a nice little bailing splash on all the on all the SCVs hanging out over here. Oh, he's going to corner him, and oh, all the SCVs go down. Great splash. 34 supplies down for <laughs> BDSRG, and GG. Yusafa is tying it up 1-1.